Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Some exciting stuff happened with us. Uh, well, not us. Um, Elijah and his clients this morning out on the river. So this morning at 3.30, Elijah got here to the warehouse and we got him loaded up and headed out to pick up the clients to get out and do some striper fishing on the river. Um, had to be rescued, ran into some crazy weather. The radar this morning looked clear, the forecast was clear. However, shortly after being launched, a thunderstorm started to form and it was a huge area of them. And it got so bad that Elijah and them were actually blown up river. So the wind from these storms and not to mention all the lightning and thunder, which is enough to cause you to have to get off the water. But then this wind just absolutely blasting out of nowhere was literally blowing them up river and lots of lightning around. So Elijah had made the call, said, hey man, we are stuck. So we got the clients off the water and into one of the casinos there, the Laughlin River Lodge, and we got them picked up there. But then what was left was how do we get this boat off of the river? For those of you that don't know, we run drift boats. There's a good reason that we run drift boats. A lot of people wonder, hey man, why are you guys out on drift boats on the river? Well, this river, not only is it popular for huge striped bass, but it's super popular for boats and jet skis, especially jet skis. So in the mornings, the river is typically very low where nobody can really launch a boat or a jet ski in this area. And we very even seldom see a boat in this area. It's usually a local, usually somebody we know, but usually we have the river all to ourselves in the morning from you know 4.30 in the morning to eight or nine o'clock. And that is why we run the drift boats. You can't run a regular boat up in this section in the morning when it's running at one unit or even sometimes a half unit or two units. Usually three units is the safe marking for launching jet skis and boats or when it's actually even possible. So that is why we run drift boats. However, when once in a while, something like this happens where we're stuck and uh, it, it's only happened a couple of times in all the years, but Today we figured we would let you see one of the downsides of guiding where there is a ton of uh, things that go wrong or can go wrong and a lot of behind the stuff, scenes stuff. It's not just going fishing and collecting money. There is a ton of work behind the scenes. So anyways, enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. So, you wanna be a guide? Well, this is some of the shit you gotta deal with. So, thunder and lightning all around us had to stop. River's at about a half unit, cannot get down. So now, we are attempting a four wheel drive rescue mission here. Pull this bad boy out and yeah. So that's what kind of some of the stuff you gotta deal with on a drift boat. Very beautiful to go out on these. But every once in a while, you get caught with your pants down. Four wheeling, moving rocks out of the way. <laughs> Where there's a will, there is a way. Right across from Harris. Yep. No way to even get down to the ramp. Push more? Are we close? We got a little bit more. Nice 
nice exciting morning huh boys Love it. all right let's uh strap it up there let's just go Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll walk around in front of you. Free showers, right? Yeah. What's that? Jim, are you the head rock technician? The point, point man. <laughs> oh, lightning. All right. It's getting really sketchy out here. But hey, this is sometimes what you got to do. The importance of having a four wheel. Get some speed and just go from there, Elijah. Haul ass, go. Yeah, Ford isn't going to do this. With a, with a Ford, you'd be stuck, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to have a Chevy. Ford ain't going to get us out of there. Look at that. We got it done. Teamwork, 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 right? <laughs> We're a unit. <laughs> Elijah? <laughs> you got anything smart to say? Really, but I still caught fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Yo, where's the fish? We threw it. Where is the fish? Okay. All right. All right, well, uh, it's really coming down now. But as you folks can see, that is what we had to get yeah, out of on the riverbank. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't carry all the fish. All right. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're back in the warehouse, safe and sound. <laughs> you want to explain what happened this morning, Elijah? Well, it was looking pretty clear in the morning. And then right when we got over to Harris. Gust of wind came in, thunder is getting closer, and just all hell broke loose. So. <laughs> now, what happened when the wind came came up? How strong was it? What was it doing? Oh, okay, so yeah, we were, we were in front of the, the beach at Harris, and it, it blew us back to River Lodge. So we were turning so it into a big sailboat. Explain that. So it blew you up river up, against current. Yeah, up river against the current. Is there any lightning around? Not at that time, but a little later it was getting pretty close. Jeez. Well, um, pancake breakfast? I think so. Nothing better than a rainy day morning getting blown off the river. I think I want some corned beef hash. Corned beef hash, eggs, and pancakes for me. I might even be crazy and go with a chicken fried steak. What do you say? Sounds really good. All right. Until the next adventure.